Eight months after Indian Air Force bombed the Jaish e Mohammed terrorist camp in Pakistan's Balakot, Indian intelligence agencies have received inputs that 45 to 50 hardcore terrorists, including suicide bombers, are being trained there. The development has come days after Indian Northern Command Chief Lieutenant General Ranbir Singh claimed that nearly 500 terrorists were waiting to cross over the LOC. He also said 200 to 300 terrorists are operating in hinterland of Jammu and Kashmir to keep the region in turmoil with Pakistan's support, a report. Pakistan-sponsored terrorists are receiving all kinds of aids from Islamabad to facilitate their mission of bleeding India with thousand cuts. Intelligence reports suggest 45 to 50 terrorists, including suicide bombers, are undergoing repressive training at Jaish e Mohammed camp in Balakot. Also, some 500 terrorists are waiting at training camps along the line of control in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, ready to sneak into Jammu and Kashmir, a top Indian Army officer said this week. Takriban 200-300 terrorists हमारे इलाके के अंदर जो आए हुए हैं और जो आतंक के साथ मिले हुए हैं और इसी प्रकार पाकिस्तान ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर के अंदर जो टेररिस्ट कैंप और लॉन्च पैड्स हैं उसके अंदर भी तकरीबन 500 के आसपास लोग हर समय ट्रेनिंग के अंदर बने रहते हैं और घुसपैठ के लिए तैयार रहते हैं लेकिन ये जो फिगर्स हैं ये एक अप्रोक्सीमेट फिगर्स हैं इसके अंदर बदलाव आता रहता है जिस प्रकार से लोगों की और ट्रेनिंग होती रहती है Indian Air Force's Mirage 2000 fighter jets had decimated a Jaish e Mohammed terror camp in Balakot on February 26 this year. The Jaish e Mohammed's terror camp destroyed in the airstrikes carried out by Indian Air Force is located in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa of Pakistan. The terror camp located on a hilltop amidst thick forest was an advanced training center where suicide bombers were trained. Sources have revealed that the terror camps have been reactivated in Balakot and terrorists are undergoing extensive training to carry out attacks in India. I am in total agreement by the statement made by the Army Commander Nazan Army. It's a fact that there are about 200 to 300 terrorists which are operating in the valley at this point of time. This notwithstanding, the security forces have been very successful in ensuring that no incident whatsoever has taken place in Kashmir on the last 70 odd days, which is a huge success story for us. As far as across the border is concerned, the anti-terrorism grid has been secured in a very significant manner, despite mega attempts by China to, by Pakistan, to push in terrorists, they failed to do so. And every time they've been able to push in terrorists, we managed to eliminate them at the border itself. So he's assured the nation that notwithstanding huge efforts by Pakistan, India's in very safe hands. The terrorists operating along the LOC under the shelter of Pakistan Army remain on a consistent lookout for chances of cross-border infiltration that is facilitated by ceasefire violations by Pakistani troops. Recently, infiltrated terrorists launched a grenade attack in Kashmir's main city of Srinagar. This is the second such attack within a span of a week and the third incident of its kind in Kashmir Valley since the state's temporary special status was revoked by Indian Union government. It's, it seems there is it's a grenade throwing inc incident, now we are investigating and uh, nobody is uh, seriously injured. Yeah. How many, what's the number that have been got injured in this attack? Six to seven, uh, yeah. We, any we'll have any cop injury or something? Or no, nothing, civilian? nothing, nothing. Only civilian. Launching immediate counter-terrorism action following the incidents of grenade attacks and killing of civilians in Kashmir, the Indian Army neutralized three terrorists in Anantanag this week. Terror activities from Pakistan are on a surge since August 5th. India's hostile neighbor is desperate to unleash bloodbath in hinterland of India and Jammu and Kashmir, for which it is also using drones along the Indian borders to facilitate intrusion. Recently, a Pakistan drone was spotted in Punjab's Firozpur district. The incidents of uh, drones from Pakistan dropping weapons on our side of the border is actually an indication of the frustration of Pakistan to be able to provide the support in terms of weapons to the terrorists operating inside our country. I wish to assure you all 
that all efforts are being made to ensure that these designs of Pakistan are not allowed to succeed. A lot of these have already been captured and we will ensure that such designs of Pakistan are absolutely curbed by our border guarding forces, whether they are on the line of control or on the international border. Pakistan is adopting a multi-pronged strategy to hamper peace in Kashmir. While it is already operating big terror factories in POK, on the other side, it is deploying arms to terrorists through drones to carry out large-scale terror attacks in India.